you are on the hunt for an AI image generator that can create everything, from cartoon characters and photorealistic images to 3D models. You also want to be able to tweak specific parts of the image, just like in Photoshop, and even upscale the image to a higher quality. And you want all these features for free. Well, I got you covered. Meet CG Dream, a new image generator that I recently came across. It offers all the usual features you would expect, plus some unique ones that I think you'll find extremely useful. Let's start with its interface. Here is the field where you type your prompt to guide the model on what you want to create. Now, you can either hit the Generate button or the Dream Up button. The difference is that DreamUp enhances the prompt with additional details, resulting in a more visually appealing and creative image. I'll try both using the same prompt. Let's ask for a female blonde painter with glasses in her studio. Ok, nice. Check this for instance. I'll now hit the DreamUp to see if there's any difference. As you see, DreamUp expanded the prompt by adding more details, resulting in a more creative output. Can you see it? It's much more creative. I use DreamUp whenever I'm not sure what to include in my prompt and want an extra hand from the AI. Ok, let's try a new image. This is a solid result, but not exactly Pixar style. So. Next to the prompt field, you'll see a button with a ton of filters that you can apply to your image. This is super handy as it lets you apply a specific style without having to type it into your prompt like other AI image generators. As you see, there are indeed lots of filters. Let's try the previous prompt by adding a filter this time. I want the picture to look like Disney's 3D heroes. So, I'll type 3D and choose this filter. You can see that the filter is active because it's right here. This is the style that I was looking for. Ok, let's add in some more filters to see if there are any changes. I want the scene to take place in an urban environment, as well as enhance it with some neon lights. I think that the guy's clothes can look cooler, so I'll add this as well. I also want some action in the scene, so it looks less static, so I'll add this filter too. See the difference? By the way, you can adjust any of your generated images. You just click on it, make the changes to the prompt or filters and ask for a new grid of images. By now, you must probably have noticed this button on the bottom left side. What it does is it allows you to upload a reference image. I'll upload something. Now I'll paste my new prompt and I'll adjust the reference image resemblance parameters. These parameters determine how much the generated image can deviate from the original one. The more the resemblance, the more freedom the AI will have to change the image based on your prompt and filters. Speaking of filters, I'll remove any filters that were previously applied to the image to avoid them influencing my new one. I'll also add a new filter. Let's go for the plant leaf filter because plants equal productivity and maybe the abstract lights filter because, yeah, we need some more illumination to our scene. As you see, filters are really powerful in CG Dream. These text-to-image and image-to-image features are pretty cool, but 
nothing groundbreaking. Well, wait till you see what else such a dream can do. If you hover over an image, you'll see some icons. This one deletes the image. This one submits the image to a challenge. More on that later. The next one downloads the image to the computer and the heart-shaped button saves the image to your favorites. But what's really awesome are these buttons at the bottom of the image. First, there is the convert to 3D model icon. Now, see what happens when I click it. So the conversion has been completed. I can now either download it or review it. I'll do the latter. I can rotate the 3D image and see it from a different angle if I want to. Next to the Convert to 3D model icon is my personal favorite, the InPaint. This essentially does what Photoshop's AI does. But first, let's get rid of uh, the existing filters. Now I'll highlight a specific part of the image and ask the AI to refine it, adjusting only this particular area. And just like that, the image has been inpainted. Obviously, you can inpaint images that you have uploaded. Check this. I'll upload this image of mine. Paint this area over my hand and ask it to generate a cartoon dragon. Nice, isn't it? Obviously, if you like an image, you can save it to your computer. But before saving the image, you can and should upscale it. You can do that by hitting this button over here. This essentially doubles the image's quality. Students of interior design or 3D hobbyists will love this one. You can also upload your own 3D file or select one from CG Dreams library and bring it to life by adding several filters. Check this out. I'll go to 3D models and I'll pick this car. I can rotate it and view it from different angles. The angle matters because it affects the output. Let me show you why. Let's say I want this car to be in the Victorian era London. I'll first get rid of uh, any existing filters and select some new ones. I'll adjust their strength and hit the Dream Up button. And just like that, we've got our car in the Victoria near London. Nice. Obviously, Siege Dream comes equipped with several settings. You can find them in the top right corner. The image aspect ratio allows you to adjust the image's dimensions. For portraits, stick to one to one. For other creations, I recommend 16 to nine for a larger canvas. I'll set the number of variations to four. This will give me a grid of four images. The prompt guidance bar tells the AI how closely it should follow the prompt. The higher the value, the more defined the output. I prefer to set it around seven as I want the AI to follow my prompt as much as possible. Go for draft if you're not sure about what you wanna create or pick quality if you want to generate without drafting. I'll go for quality. The auto enhance short prompt option is a super useful one as it gives the AI freedom to automatically enhance any prompt shorter than three words. I'll leave the seed option as it is. Finally, there is the negative space feature if you want something to be excluded from the generated outcome. Sage Dream has an active community on Discord where you can look for advice and support. Another cool thing about Sage Dream is the regular challenges they run. These challenges not only give you a chance to sharpen your image prompting skills, but also offer a shot at winning premium subscriptions for free. Speaking of subscriptions, Sage Dream's free plan allows you to generate up to 20 images per day. However, keep in mind that the images created on the free plan can't be used commercially. Therefore, if you want to speed up the process, keep your images private and have the right to use your creations commercially, 
you need to go for a premium plan. That was CG Dream, but Image generation is not the only thing that AI has brought us. There are plenty of other AI tools out there that can help you become more productive and get rid of those tedious, pesky tasks. Check some of them in the video shown on your screen. Till the next time, see you!